everybody. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Sophie and Mr. House, who finally came to Poland. They visited many interesting places in our beautiful country, and I have to ask them some questions. Hi, Mr. House. Hi, Sophie. Good morning, Julia. Hello. I'm really excited about the interview. Uh, so, if you've already spent some time here, so the first question: What do you think about Poland? Well, in my opinion. This a country isn't such a bad place to live in. Actually, we were never bored or tired because of some kind of uh, locations in Poland are really nice. I absolutely agree with that. We visited um, a capital of our country, Warsaw, and the Krakow and uh, Wroclaw, and we seen the Palace of Culture and Science and the Wawel Castle. We we took a lot of photos of those buildings. They are really impressive. That's so nice. And how did you like the food? Well, while we were traveling around Europe, we discovered a lot of new tastes in uh, European cuisine. Um, Polish cuisine is a bit different. I just fell in love with bigos. Mm. Yes, it's very, very, very nice dish. Absolutely delicious. I have to learn how to cook it as soon as possible. Well, I'm partly surprised that you like Bigos most. <laughs> and how about the places you have explored? We have been to the biggest salt main in the country, uh, Wielitschka Salt Main, and uh, mm. we got a lot of souvenirs from there, like a pair uh, pieces of salt. Yeah, breathtaking views. Yes, I understand it. And I have noticed that you've mentioned uh, Wrocław, right? And how do you feel about that city? Well, I think it's one of the best cities we have ever been to. Mm, I remember that there was such a pretty marketplace in the city center. And the sweet factory. Mm, so tasty. Yes, uh, I admit that they are really good. And back now, back to Rebik. Uh, how do you feel about this town? I have to say that is the, I would say, Toxic, most toxic city uh, we have uh, visited. Okay, and what, what do you mean, Sophie? I'm talking about the air pollution. It's very uh, hard to live a uh, health lifestyle here in winter. Exactly. Personally, I think that's a real problem in many, many cities all around the world. I mean, this problem not only happened in uh, Rybnik or in Europe, but it exists in many cities in the whole world. Poor people. Uh, yes, and do you think that you should deal with it somehow? Yeah, sure, it's obvious. Politicians should start caring more about the environment because... It's so bad for people who want to live healthy, uh, especially for children. Yes, uh, it's really kind of you to mention this serious problem. Uh, maybe someone important will watch the interview and do something about it. Uh, well, I can see you are in a hurry now, right? You have to pack your suitcases and go to Croatia. But don't forget that you promised us to visit us in Tiftra again. Yes, that was real pleasure for us. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming.